Skavon Decca, meaning Delinquent Girl Detective, is perhaps my all-time favorite manga series. It's a story of many twists and turns that gets you attached before breaking your heart, as your favorite characters are killed off in a myriad of different ways. In essence, it's the anti-Dragon Ball Z. No one comes back to life and the fights are actually interesting. It was mangaka Wada Shinji's most popular work, so much so that when the manga originally concluded after Volume 2, lack of commercial success with his subsequent series resulted in resurrecting the title with another eight Bunkoban volumes worth of story. Three years after its conclusion in 1982, a live-action J-drama would be produced on Fuji TV in 1985, which some of you may be more familiar with. But what we're here to talk about today is the 1991 OVAs. The entire two-volume, three-snake arc adapted into two compact 50 or so minute episodes. It was directed and written by Takashi Hirota, who had previously only worked on the 1989 OVA adaption of Locke the Superman. The first episode of the Skibendeka duology, titled Birth, was broadcast on Yomi Yuri's TV's Anime Deske slot on April 21st, 1991, and the second counterattack airing three months later in July. And so naturally, when you condense a bunch of material, n when you're really adapting anything at all, there are going to be differences. And that's what this video is really about, so let's dive right in. The first episode opens with a pan shot of Hill's Fortress, the reform school Saki was sent to. Immediately, she's taken from her cell to meet with the Shadow Superintendent, Kurayami Keishi. In the manga, immediately after showcasing the prison reform school walls, we are introduced to the warden as she stops a couple of prisoners from escaping. We get an interaction between her and Saki that establishes the warden as the first arc's antagonist. The entirety of this arc is skipped in the OVA. We don't meet any of Saki's friends who also pop up later in the manga, such as Chi or Agura. There's a bunch of fake drama between Saki and Agura, so they get thrown into solitary and chat about escaping. Naturally, Saki has no desire to escape or live on the outside world, because that's the true hell. Which just also happens to be quite relatable for a lot of prisoners. It's only after this exchange do we get the scene where Kurayami requests Saki's presence. Their conversation is a bit different as he goes over the next arc's case, the 300 million yen heist, which is omitted from the OVA. Saki's mood is more relaxed until she's offered a position of skibandeka. Kuriyami brings out Saki's mother's execution papers, but instead of reluctantly agreeing, she storms off back into her cell with Agura. Jim pops out and says to wait it out, and from there she eventually decides to break out rather than just using Kuriyami's authority. And our lesbian warden of an antagonist is woefully embarrassed as Saki outclasses her. The OVA's next scene doesn't exist in the manga. It features a group of gutter trash men attempting to rape Junko, but Saki intervenes and handily beats him. She also has a cool trench coat in that scene um, that, again, doesn't exist in the manga, which proceeds into the Three Snakes arc with the arrival of the Mizuchi sisters, a scene that doesn't take place in the OVA until Saki arrives at Takanoa High. Next, instead of that, the anime chooses to begin with the Mizuchi sisters' plot to murder all of the delinquent children by putting them on buses that would deliver them to various accidents. This is mildly confusing insofar as the plot goes, as the bus scene in the manga doesn't transpire until much, much later, after Saki arrives, as she's the lone survivor of the accident, smashing a window and using her yo-yo to grab onto a tree branch and survive. Also, the manga has three buses split up for the students to each suffer different tragedies. Yet the anime has a slew of buses all following each other, with sleeping gas being let into them, causing the drivers to crash and go off the rails. The manga instead has Ayumi's Basozoku crash the rides into the bus to cause the driver to drive off the cliff. Remy can be seen, unlike in the manga, in the bus ahead smiling as she orchestrated the plan. Furthermore, there's the scene after about a corrupt cop prematurely ending the investigation and reprimanding an honest newbie from HQ, as well as a shower scene, for some reason. The former is substituting old man Mizuchi buying off the police. We next have Sanbei's introduction. In the manga, they had only met on a city bus after Sake's first case. They met by Sanbei groping her and then getting beaten up by the other girls as an enemy of women. Definitely something I endorse. It would also appear that instead of the case being simply not shown, it probably didn't happen at all, as soon after is the first time the two meet. It's after this sad sax introduction that we get the first scene the manga actually shows, the Mizuchi sisters' arrival. 
some irrelevant student gives Sanbei their introductions and... Well, the manga has Mr. Numa ranting about them in the teacher's lounge. Perhaps most interesting about these mundane details is the lack of mention that Remy is the student council president in the manga, and Mr. Numa is an assistant principal in the anime for some reason. There's lots of little differences from here on out, but how pedantic do we want to get? I'd say pretty damn pedantic. While the manga more or less forgets about Saki for a while, the OVA has her arrive immediately after the Mizuchis. This scene has always reminded me of Ranma, just with how the entire school dramatically gathers around. The scene after is a flashback to her first meeting with Jin, which is also different. The manga has the meeting after the first arc behind her mother's prison. That's also another fundamental difference. Saki's mother was moved off death row into his shadow life imprisonment status, while this is Saki's first real case. And so her mother would still be waiting execution. I guess that really does just prove the first case didn't happen. Anyway, she gets her new super special yo-yo. Jin doesn't mention the lead center in the anime and the string material is a bit different. I'd really like a yo-yo like this, frankly. If anyone knows how to make one, please, by all means, enlighten me. And not a... And not the two centimeter wide toy I accidentally ordered a few years ago from Japan. Also worth noting is that we don't see Jin's detective agency in the anime. So no Suga or Mio. So it turns out the Mizuchi's bus accident is what prompted Saki to be put on the case. While the manga more or less involves a suspicious hunch. After the Mizuchi's introduction in the manga were introduced to Junko for the first time. A poor girl on a scholarship for her painting abilities which instead takes place after Saki's flashback. The anime instead has her working a part-time job and doesn't go into detail about her fear of people or Emmy's rage. In fact, the entire scene with Emmy seeking out a Yumi during their bike race is omitted. And so Yumi's gang never runs over Junko's hand and shatters it. The planning of the bus accidents are skipped, mentions of Remy's lesbianism, as well as Remy's pressuring Emmy into copying Junko's paintings. None of it ever happens. Then Saki finally enters the school. The big differences here are that Junko thanks Saki for the other night, beginning their friendship. Junko also has her bells as a keepsake of her mother's, which she doesn't get until the night before her death in the manga. Through... prostitution. Also a random scene with Sanbe. Then in the OVA, Ayumi sends her male thugs after her, but instead sends two female delinquents in the manga. It's much shorter in the former, but serves the same purpose, for Saki to identify the ringleader, Remy. Sanbei also intervenes and calls her delicate because Sanbei. Random Remy bath scene that's not in the manga. The Mizuchi meeting is also different. The manga just has Gozu giving Ayumi donation money from his head of chairman position that, that became as a result of the accident. Ayumi's outfit is also different. In fact, all the sisters wear different outfits at some point. Pedantic. Sanbei stalks Saki through and through. She runs into Junko and they go to her house followed by a scene of Ayumi buying cocaine from foreigners. The manga's completely different, as not long after Junko's hand is crushed, Remy sends men to steal her paintings, one of whom roughs up her mother, who died when Junko was a little kid in the OVA. The bells also turn out to be a keepsake of hers. As I mentioned, they did that different. Ayumi's underground vault scene doesn't show up until the back race in the manga, when Remy's draining all the funds. Sanbei shaves his head on the spot, which he doesn't do until much later, and at a barber shop, the whole computer thing doesn't exist in the manga. Emmy's the one to visit Junko in the anime, probably because she visits her mother in the hospital in the manga. Saki's confrontation of various thugs is barely shown in the manga. Junko is abducted in the anime by the Mizuchi thugs. Whereas in the manga, she goes on to run after hearing their plans at the school. Remy had initially refused to do her more harm prior to that. Obligatory meeting with Jin. Saki's frame for Junko's abduction, prompting her to be locked up. The manga has Saki locked up as a witness to the bus accidents instead. Episode 2, Counterattack, opens with a police interrogation. Q gross drug and rape scene of Junko not present in the manga, thankfully. Saki loiters in jail in both, the difference is there's a random brainwashing subplot exclusive to the anime, prompting Ayumi to confront Remy. Great scene, really. Random scene of corrupt cop meeting with Gozo, 
His design is quite different from the manga. The anime has Saki realizing the Mizuchis could be after Junko, which prompts her to release herself after a week. Kinda stupid, but whatever. The manga just has Jin visit to inform her that she's been missing. There is a dark scene where Junko is taunted with freedom, and well, yeah. Sanbe learns Saki is the Skibandeka way earlier. Also, Sanbe doesn't cause Saki to wreck her motorcycle, so he doesn't buy her a new one that she uses for the later duration of the manga. Junko's dead body is found discarded on the railway. This isn't how she dies in the manga. Instead, she is humiliated at the art exhibition and runs out, followed by Yumi, who kills her in the way her mother died, by a viper's bite. And her body is thrown over the overpass to make it look like a suicide. The investigation for Emmy's painting debauchery finally begins, which was much longer in the manga and involved Junko's deceased father. Jin gave Saki handcuffs. Saki finally has her rematch with the Yumi's thugs and beats them handedly. Important to note is the fact that the manga and anime match up well with this part, with Saki having Junko's bells as she had already died in bulk. Key differences are in the anime when Saki brings a Yumi to her knees with her yo-yo, and the manga has Jin give her her handcuffs after the schoolyard confrontation. The bar scene with Numa also happens after this in the anime. While it happened previously in the manga with more details and emotions flaring, Numa is a lot more level-headed in the OVA to say the least. Ayumi also doesn't meet with both her sisters in the manga, but rather just Remy. There is a research montage of Saki busting up bad guys for information on the Mizuchis, condensing and refiling the nature of the investigation on Emi. Saki calls Kurayami before Ayumi confronts her. It's at this point in the manga that Sanbei appears for the first time after shaving his head. Ayumi challenges Saki to a bike race. The entire thing is omitted from the OVA, likely due to time, including Saki falling into her trap and Sanbei rescuing her. What is the same is the nature of how she loses. The OVA has Ayumi distracted by the alarm system to her vault being broken into, which is like the manga, but the latter has her run off to see what's wrong. In both instances, she attempts to shoot Saki with her rigged shotgun. Remy doesn't wear a mask for some reason in the anime, and Ayumi also admits no fault regarding Junko, which is unlike the manga. Saki has Sanbei call an ambulance, but she dies at the scene. All the more to really set Remy up as being more evil, even though she's plenty evil in the manga already. The fundamental difference being that Ayumi tries to clutch her money in the manga. Remy also has specific thugs in the OVA, because she's evil. Boo. The picture of Junko isn't in the manga. The award ceremony goes off in much the same way, minus the fact that Emi copied Junko's father's painting. The second painting she copied is also absent until Saki's confrontation and presented as incomplete. Emi and her father are murdered inside the ceremony as opposed to outside, although Emi appears to survive in the manga. Remy's brainwashing is also responsible for this in the anime which doesn't exist in the manga. Saki steals Ayumi's motorcycle as opposed to having her own to confront Remy. Saki crashes through the front door in the OVA rather than the window. She's greeted by Remy's followers as opposed to Remy herself. The manga has their fight begin inside the mansion, but Saki has to work her way through it as it's set to explode while Remy plays piano and prepares to escape. Remy doesn't attempt to escape in the manga until she begins losing the final fight, to which she boards a helicopter. Instead, the OVA has Remy jump from the helicopter to fight Saki, who she assumed had been killed. The manga has Saki instead latch onto the helicopter with her yo-yo. Remy grabs a pistol and prepares to finish her off, but Junko's bells nail her right in the temple, causing her to knock out the pilot and crash. In a blazing glory that Saki drags her out from in handcuffs. The helicopter in the OVA instead attacks Jin and the police, while Remy and Saki fight on the rooftop. Jin shoots it down in the most anime way possible, Remy brings up Saki's mother, and then Saki uses Junko's bells to distract her so that she can use her left hand to finish her off. Saki doesn't learn how to use a yo-yo with her left hand until much, much later, and she also doesn't have those gloves until much later. The mansion explodes and Saki emerges from the flames with Remy in cuffs. Pretty much the same way as the manga, except she's coming out of the mansion. I hope you enjoyed this video, I enjoyed making it, I plan on making a bunch of videos on Bancho series, as well as anime and manga that I like. My next video in particular will be about a cult classic, one everyone knows and loves, that I'm totally not the only fan of, that's going to defend it, that that really likes it. There's, there's a ton of fans, actually. I'm not the only one in North America, I swear.